Hello and good day everybody. Shalom. I hope you guys can hear me well. Let me see. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm sorry. I put my earphones in. I hope that that's better. Um, I just want to come on real quick because I'm led to, to leave a quick message here um, about something that Father has been putting on my heart. Um, because there is a, a vast misunderstanding of what it means to be obedient to Father Ahaya. Um, and there's a distinction between being obedient and trying to be perfect or conveying oneself as perfect. So please listen to the entirety of the video um, so that you don't take away from this something that was not meant to be uh, conveyed at all. Um, that's why I posted on the title here to understand because of the way Father's having me bring this forth. So Heavenly Father, with the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I give you all glory, honor, and praise. And I worship you, Lord, because every promise that you speak is true. No matter how the physical looks, you have spoken a thing and declared it, and it shall be so. No matter what it entails, you are not a man that you shall lie. I ask that you just cover this recording with the cloak of invisibility and um, I seal all of our minds, body, spirit, heart, and Holy Shia's blood. Amen. So Father wanted me to come on. He put on my heart very heavy today because I've been like, this has been something that he's been brewing in my spirit, but he literally like put it on me to speak it for. So here I am. And it is a matter of sharing and clarifying what it means to be obedient to father higher versus one trying to be perfect and this is coming from the viewpoint of those on the outside looking into a person and their ministry and their calling because just because a person is called or chosen and or chosen that does not mean they are perfect and what father is having me share with you all today is simply this when you see a person operating in their calling many are called but few are chosen and the reason why those who are chosen are chosen is because they have answered the call and a lot of people do not know my god what it takes to answer the call there is a price for every anointing that is placed upon any of Father's children. So when we're on the outside looking into one's ministry, their doings, their actions for the Lord, it's not going to make sense to everybody because not everybody's meant to understand, first of all. Second of all, not everybody's meant to come on that journey with a specific individual or people. So when you see a person operating in their gift and in their calling, you don't know what training, you don't know what intimacy, you don't know what communication, what kind of rearing the Lord has equipped this person with to be able to come forth and do what they are doing. When you hear a person speaking forth a bold message, it doesn't mean that they don't have trials, struggles, faults. It doesn't mean that they don't sin because we are all as filthy rags before Father Ahaya. The difference here is that Father has taught many. And those of you who are watching this video who understand what I'm talking about, you can attest that when the Lord has taken you under his wing to train you and rear you and teach you and guide you to walk in the path that he has set for you, he will give you insight on what he is going to do with you on this journey. He also will train you on how he wants you to speak. He will fine tune your hearing to hear his voice in such a way that there's no denying but you had to go through a process with him in order to get to a place where you can hear him as clear as you do, to know how God speaks to you through any communication and to be solid in that. That does not mean that a preacher or a pastor or a teacher or a prophet, prophetess, it doesn't mean that people are perfect. Father has taught people how to speak for him. He has taught people how to be obedient and what it, the value and the virtue of obedience 
regardless to what it looks like on the outside to those on the outside looking in and father has made it clear that there are some who don't understand because they simply they just don't understand and they you know they haven't really sought father either because they need a little um a little more fine tuning with their relationship with the lord and then there are some who don't want to understand because they don't want you to be doing what the lord has called for you to do they don't want to that they don't want for what they see you doing to be what god has called for you to do they don't want it to be the truth that it just is solely obedience and father has put it on my heart to come and share that when people are looking at you in your ministry whoever you are and people are misconstruing your obedience for you trying to be perfect for you to not be discouraged because that's not what it is it is you doing what the lord has told you to do and you hold tight and you be steadfast and you continue to move in that direction of obedience because your obedience is what births forth every promise and every word spoken to you in private and in the word of god it births forth your calling, your purpose, and the manifestation of the fruit of your labor in that um, position, in that operation, that establishment that the Lord has set for you. He wanted me to make it very clear that it's important, and even though I've already shared this many, many times, but he will have us repeat because the people are not listening anything that you question about a person please go directly to him he will reveal to you those whom he has sent but he said that it is a matter of the heart he's reminding me because this is what i was going to say earlier he's made it very clear that those who don't want to believe the truth that a person is operating out of obedience it is because it is it is a matter of the heart it is a matter of the heart everything is about the heart and when you operate in obedience to the lord it's going to be the complete opposite of what the vast majority would think is from God. It's not going to be by man's sight that what you're doing is validated. It is by the word of the Lord. It is by the promises of God, higher. It is by what he has spoken to you. Some people already know what the outcome of their ministries are going to be. They know what the outcome of their circumstances are going to be because it's been revealed to them. And the Lord has given them this thing as encouragement for them to continue to walk through that fire in obedience, no matter how hot it gets, no matter how bad it looks on the natural side of things. God spoke a word. If he said it, then he's going to do it. He says, shall I not? Shall I bring to the birth and not cause you to bring it forth i'm paraphrasing he's asking if he'll open up the womb and then shut it right before you deliver it no he's not going to do that so i hope that he's speaking that to me now i mean the scripture is in isaiah 66 i believe but i want um what i'm emphasizing is this no matter how much your obedience brings you fire continue to operate in obedience even if people are not understanding your path and purpose the lord god almighty the creator is the one who judges all things and when you know that you know you know that 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 god has told you to do the things that you are doing you do them with confidence and be courageous as he told joshua he's telling me that right now be courageous and be brave and do it anyway no matter what do it anyway the lord will see you through it he will give understanding to those who humble their hearts before him to want to know and for those who don't he will allow them to walk in that disbelief because that's what they want and at the appropriate time, he will bring things to manifestation to where even those who didn't believe will see that everything that you were doing is from a higher. So that doesn't mean because someone is called and chosen that they're proclaiming to be perfect. 
we all sin and fall short. We have all sinned and fall, fallen short of his glory. This is a daily thing that we live in repentance. It doesn't mean that people don't have moments where they are acting out of their weaknesses. It doesn't mean that they are just walking around holier than thou. No, the Lord has taught them how to conduct themselves and that's what they do. The Lord has spoken to them about what he expects of them because they know better. And when you know better, you strive to do better. There's nothing wrong with striving to do better. It doesn't mean that we're perfect. It doesn't mean that a person is perfect. What it means is you love the Lord enough to want to live as best as you can a righteous life before him. Righteousness is obedience. Go and look at Abraham. His obedience he believed and he was obedient and, and the father counted it to him as righteousness look at every example we have in the word you got abraham you got noah you got isaac you got david you got job you got esther you got joseph you have daniel you got paul you got the disciples you have all of these people even hagar i'm bringing her up because father just brought her to me how she was an obedient servant to her mistress he blessed her. Even though she was taking abuse, he blessed her for doing what he told her to do. He sent an angel to tell her to go back. She was pregnant with a son, but the nation that she was going to birth for was going to be blessed. Ishmael, because God hears. That's what the name means, God hears. All of these archetypes are an example. None of them were perfect. Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, they all went through something. They all had weaknesses. David did things. He was favored by the Lord. A lot of times people don't understand what they're seeing is God's favor carrying you through. It is the blessing of his promise that is carrying you through. It is the joy of the Lord, his strength that is carrying you through to do the things that you're doing in boldness. It's not about perfection. It is about your heart and your humility before the Lord to do what you have been called to do even when it's not understood I pray this message blesses y'all and I'll end it here I love y'all, be blessed, shalom